comfortable. It sounds yep. nice. Thanks so much, Scotty. Well, Harley Davidson's 110th anniversary is in its final day, and after four busy days, it's time for businesses to take a look at the numbers. Plenty of bars and restaurants had deals for Harley riders, and plenty took advantage of those offers. Our Michelle Fiore is live in front of House of Harley with more. Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning, Tom and Susan. Harley dealerships made it easy for riders to come out and spend some cash. They were open around the clock all weekend long and continue here at House of Harley to remain open until 11 o'clock tonight. Now, it remains undetermined just how much extra cash flowed into Milwaukee from Harley fans. Hotel prices were up 107%, according to Trivago.com. Some bars offered beer tents and even beer octagons to create a festival-like atmosphere. We've seen all kinds of stints out there, beer bongs, bikini car washes, female mud wrestling as well. And the dealerships made extra money with people from all over the world coming in and buying merchandise. There was a lot of traffic for this event up here. We've got a wall over there with a huge map of the world and the pins. I thought it was a big joke at first, but there are so many pins all over the world on that. It's crazy. Although the Harley festivities ended last night, there is one final chance for riders to get together. They will be leaving on one final ride from Greenfield High School to Miller Park for a Brewers game at 1130 today. Reporting live outside House of Harley, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, Michelle, thanks very much. It's now 532. Also new this morning, Milwaukee Police.